What is up guys, Shadow Elemental here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Shadowcraft episode 3, and we're starting things off on the morning of the 9th, where I'm just placing down my crafting stations from the last video, where I went out exploring, and putting everything into chess when I get shot at by a skeleton. Clearly he hasn't seen my mob kill count yet. Or the mob kill count I racked up with the sheep and cows in the last video. I decide to continue sweeping my house when I find this pillager. Uh, he fell in the snow. I continue the rampage, killing a spider and a sheep that was on my property. I told him to get off. And then we get on to the home renovations that the entire last video had initially been based off of. So I start gathering my materials and putting away the ones I don't need to start smelting um, glass. While I wait for that, I'm a bit early for that, hang on. So I set it in and decide to walk my um, property again while I'm bored. And I see a sheep. Uh, I start working on glass, or on the glass, putting away stuff I don't need, which is my entire inventory. But yeah, I start working on the glass, and I run into a problem. The decor I have around my door doesn't work with the glass. So time lapse this, but I sped things up so that I could take care of um, fixing that. But because I have a gap now, I put in a few trap doors around my door just to try and close off the outside. And I think it gives a good aesthetic. I continue with the glass. We don't need to see that just yet. But the attic from the outside doesn't look very appealing to me so here I'm just creating a grand um, window that you would usually see on the top floor of a house just to try and give it a bit of a better feel but now I have a few um, slabs in my inventory from when we did what was it from when we had the basic roof in episode one I put the slabs in as sort of something to hold up the shingles. Why I did that, I don't know. But it gives it a use, and I don't have to break many more blocks. I then end off day nine by... No, this session, really. By trying to place an infinite potion, or an infinite water bottle thing. So I put that um, piece, or that stair down, put the water in it, or put some water in it. And then to my knowledge, that's a source block, which you can get um, infinite water bottles out of. So I just quickly test to make sure this works. I've used this as a concept before, but it doesn't, so I log off for the day. Uh, afternoon of the 9th, I'm pretty sure. And I'm tired of having bad omens, so I drink a cow's milk. Waking up day 10, I think this is an entirely new day, could be wrong. Probably not. Um, I decide I want to fix the trim. The trim doesn't look very good, so um, fast time lapse here. I think I did um, a four times time lapse in the first video. But I'm just destroying the thick trim, putting in a new one. Then we'll s jump forward here to me putting in the stairs for the um, to finish off the shingles or the shingled roof because now there's a gap left behind.
With the final shingle in place now, I decide I'm ready to head down into the mines. I almost entirely prepared myself for this, but I forgot steak or any kind of food. Uh, I did start my descent into a dripstone cave. I light it up a little bit. I really try and light it up. But I accidentally look into the eyes of this enderman and get attacked. He picks up a piece of um, grass from beside me. Don't know why, but now I have a block. And it'll become relevant in the next video, because I am pulling the plug on this one early as well. Four videos out of... Actually, this was multiple sittings. I, th I really thought I could make this one video. I find this chasm here, hidden behind some blocks. Uh, time lapse this because it's really slow going, but I start trying to bridge down to the chasm. Why I don't just mine down, I don't know. Uh, spider tries to attack me, but with my knowledge from a mob morph mod I use or I played a little while ago, I know that spiders are two by two by one, so they were too thick. It's too thick to try and get through to me. Choose your words better, Shadow. Okay. A uh, zombie tries to attack me while I'm lighting the chasm up. Kill him. Do a lot of mining. Uh, this was an entire coal vein that I um, dug out, and then I decided my pickaxe is weak. I need to stop for a sec, make myself a new pickaxe. So that's what I do. That is indeed what I do. I clear out a bit of the chasm on the way over er, to continue down, and I create a um, bridge back to where um, what's it, where the staircase was. The staircase that led me back out of the mine, because I'm not living down here. Thing, um, the staircase was set up awkwardly, so I try and fix it. I end up having to break it a little bit, but I um, create a, um, something that really works as a staircase and is only um, enhanced later on. Go back, get my iron. Now I'm ready to go back down the cave. Break my old pickaxe, because I don't want multiple pickaxes taken up my inventory. And I start continuing down the cave. That is, I would be continuing if I wasn't stuck on this um, coal vein. I miss some of the coal and continue mining, so let's just continue to me exploring. I continue walking down the um, cave. Now with two hearts and very, very, very cautious. It'll be a little bit before I can make it back here. So I block off this um, exit. Continue mining. I go around this stalagmite. What is it? Stalagmite? Stalactite? And come out to this um, opening into a massive cave. Which I find out goes straight down. Just like big plummet. It's a massive cavern, but I'm at the top of it, and there's like two layers beneath me that I can easily just die in. So I'm careful to not die because I don't want to die somewhere that I have to actively search for my loot. You know how Minecraft characters die, they explode for no reason. So now very careful of, or very aware that I could fall and die. I try and cover up any opening to the chasm that I need. I might need to pass through that could kill me in an instant. I do that here. Getting a bit ahead of myself here. Um, I don't do much here, just finish off this landing, and then I decide to hightail it out. I have two hearts, 
Um, no food. I looked down here. I did notice it was a slime chunk. I forgot to mention that. But I'm now very aware of just how many mob spawn opportunities there are, how many opportunities for me to die there are. Coming back, I because it's the night of the 10th, I'm pretty sure, it hasn't been a full 20 minutes, I don't think, down there. Or anything longer, even. I'm lighting up any sort of dark area that could cause problems later, because I do... I don't have diamond, and this cave continues deeper, so I do intend on returning at this point. I light things up for a while. It actually gets kind of annoying how long I'm lighting things up for, so let's skip forward to day 11, where, besides trying to organize my inventory, I decide to go out and explore. And besides the fact that I walk across a whole bunch of um, snow that spawned during rain showers that you guys, I don't think you've seen, Here's all that comes of it. I return home because I'm ending my session here and cave. But this is getting close to the end of where this video is going to sit. I'm not. Conti um, I'll continue things in episode four. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm really excited to continue playing on this. And I'll see you all in the next one.